It's been an interesting two days in Cape Town, in Clifton, as people have made their way into the beach to protest what they say is the racial exclusion of people from Clifton Fourth Beach. It started last week, uh, Thursday, when residents um, allegedly contracted private security to remove people from the beach at 8 o'clock. One of the people who was there is Faiz Jacobs. He joins me um, right now on Clifton Beach. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Good, thank you. Just give us, tell us about what happened last week and what led to today. Okay, last week was unfortunate today. We're celebrating our humanity. Last week I was here with my family and friends and we were asked to leave by private security. Uh, we refused to leave then, but it was annoying that the private security evacuated the entire beach. Today we are here saying that beaches, all God's beaches belong to all of our people. So you can see around you, our agenda is to bring people together. We believe in non-racialism, non-sexism and inclusivity. Where other people want to divide and offend uh, each other, our agenda is to bring people together. We've invited the residents around us to come and speak to us, come and address us. We've invited our church leaders to come here. We've even got a four, two-year-old baby also to be part, to, to, uh, two week old, sorry, to be, part, to be part of the pro So today is not about offending each other. We are celebrating our diversity, but we're also affirming our rights. We're affirming our rights that all of us can come to this beach. All of us are entitled to be here and no private security is allowed to take us off our beaches. This is our beaches. It's God's beaches for all God's people. So today's protest is only about picnicking, celebrating each other. We're going to share our different picnic baskets here. We're going to have people pray amongst ourselves and we're going to unite our people. So where others want to divide us, we are bringing our people together. And that's our agenda. It's a simple agenda of bringing people together. We're saying no to privilege. We're saying no to, to those that want to keep us off the beaches. Because what happened to me I wasn't here as a provincial secretary. I was here as a as a black person, as a lived experience, and we were chased off the beaches. And so what we're doing, if it happened to me, it happened to others also. Our kids come to, 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 to the beaches, their bags get searched. Black kids, African kids, when they come to beaches, their bags get searched. Now we have a situation where the beaches are open. So today is a celebration of our, our, our common Ubuntu, our men's waardigheid, our humanity. And that's what we're doing here with all of our comrades. It's also a throwback to a previous protest that happened during apartheid in South Africa that you were a part of. Talk to us about that. Yes, indeed. In 1989, at the height of apartheid, we had we couldn't go to beaches. We couldn't go to the Strand beaches. We couldn't come to white beaches. This beach, Fourth Beach, was exclusively white. The Maidens Cove beach was a coloured area. Africans couldn't come to the beaches. But we as the ANC and activists in 1989, we said no to this. We said we're going to defy and we opened up the beaches under Desmond Tutu's theme all God's beaches for all God's people we went to the beaches then and we, we reclaimed the beaches for all of our people today we hear uh, it's unfortunate but today in, in Cape Town we have to do the same we have to affirm our rights because there are people that want to deny our rights and now they're chopping and changing they're saying it wasn't them it wasn't me it wasn't all of those things it, it, it they, they try to control us but we know what happened we know what happened on that day we also know that vendors were removed from the beaches in the past so that's why we are here we are gathered here in our numbers but we're not offending each other we made peace with all the people here we're not offending each other we, we are saying here we are coming together to bring our common humanity together and that's our primary objective today Yesterday, uh, Cape Town Mayor Dan Plato spoke to my colleague Vanessa Puna and he said that the uproar over what happened last week is politicking um, both of the ANC and other political parties. Look, like I said, when I came to the beach, I wasn't the provincial secretary. I was just the husband. I was just the father. I was just the friend. But a black lived experience is my experience. It's a reach for JP, who's a white person, to say that we didn't experience what we experienced. We did experience private security protecting privilege on this beach. So I take it highly offensive that it is actually personal. We're raising the issues quite sharply, not politically, because this generation that I hold in my hand, we must protect them to also ensure that their future is secured. So it's not about politics, but it's ensuring about that all the uh, old people, colors, race, can enjoy their privilege. And even if you're poor, 
if you one day in a year you work hard and you are honest and law-abiding citizen and you work hard one day you can walk down that steps and no one will say that because you're poor you can't come to this beach so that's the fight that we have that if that is politics yes we're playing politics we're playing to unite our people around this it is race and it's gender because in this city unfortunately a lot of privilege happens still to be white Praise Jacobs, thanks so much for your time. Let's speak to some people who have come out today to this picnic to find out what their reasons for being here are and, and what they hope to achieve by being here. Ma, can I ask you why you're here this evening? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the nature of live television. There are other people here. Let's find out who is here. Can you tell me why you're here and what you're hoping to achieve by being at Clifton Ford? Look, we're basically here as, as citizens of South Africa to say that we, we, we respect the property here of, 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 the, of the rich, but we say no, you can't, this is an open place for people to come here. Our leaders, in fact, our late leaders have fought for democracy in Africa, so we cannot afford and repeat history that happened in apartheid years. We say in the beaches for open people, all South Africans are welcome here. Yes. Hello, I'm, I'm here today to celebrate with my kids. This place now, I want to make sure that this place is no more pri a private place now. Everybody should enjoy himself, herself, mothers, fathers, everybody here. We are enjoying. Woo! Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Anga Puzula. From that, I'm, I'm here in Stan Cape now. I'm celebrating with my friends yesterday. I celebrate our life, lifetime. Yes. So a very different mood from uh, what we saw yesterday. People reiterating that they're coming out to try and be together with their friends and family. Although they're protesting, it's a form of protest where they're saying they have a right to be here. They're not trying to disrespect anyone. They're not trying to cause um, any animosity with residents. They just want to also assert their rights to be here and make sure their dignity is not impeded on by private security or anyone else. Abra Barber is also here. So let's go to her and get another view of what's happening on Clifton and forth this evening. Good evening, Tinga. Thank you so much. Yes, I also have. I found this group of young people standing here, all in white sweaters. I know the theme, the, the memo that went out was for people to wear white. Not everybody's sticking to that memo, but these two young people I have over here, they are from the M APMO Youth League. So I'm going to speak to them and find out who they are and exactly why they decided to join tonight's picnic protest. Hi, introduce yourself. Tell me where you're from and why are you here today. Hi, um, I'm Summer Noble. I am from Kirstenoff. And I am part of the African Progressive Movement. Um, we are peacefully picnicking today to basically highlight the incompetence of our government to take responsibility for the actions on the public. Um, when we look at how our public is being treated versus um, basically what is being said and the actions that come towards but what is being said it doesn't really line up you know um, how is it possible that us as human beings firstly can can take that approach to violently um, remove people you know um, from a from a landscape that is free our beaches our beaches are free um, us as human beings firstly and then we also have to look at other aspects like political aspects where us as a party we also need to look at those aspects and think you know we need to challenge the government. Are you sticking to what you were saying? You're saying you are loving, you're saying we are unified, but yet your actions are completely different to what is being said. We need to challenge. Sorry, so are you are you a youth league of a specific party or is the AEP, the APMO your party? We are the African Progressive Movement and we are part of the Youth League of the African Progressive Movement. Okay, let me speak to your friend over here. Hi there. Tell me something. What are your thoughts on what happened that day? Do you think it was racially motivated? Because what I'm hearing now is that it was a, there is a security issue that's a problem over here and I have spoken to some people who say that people of all colors were asked to leave do you think this was a racially motivated incident and what do you think is the way forward in how we deal with incidents like this it was not racially motivated I don't believe that I believe it though it was motivated by an elitist group um, you know many things have been stripped away from us and we are here today because it, it reminds us of apartheid when our people were not free to walk on the beaches like we are today and they were unlawfully evicted from the beach man first and foremost and then you get political parties who are now playing the race card playing the blame game first of all all we want is answers we want competent answers 
And so far the city of Cape Town, Mr. Dan Plato, Mr. J.P. Smith, have not given us competent answers, man. That is what we seek, and we, we seek justice, man. Because, you know, for every action, there has to be a reaction, man. And there should be consequences for what the PBA did, man. Thank you so much for your time, both of you. There we have it, two young Cape Townian residents giving their view. Um, of course, we, we're hearing they don't believe that it was racially motivated. I have been hearing this quite a lot, but it, it's, it, what did you say? It was class-related, so it's a, it's a matter of privilege. That's what happened here. Some, some sectors seem to be saying that. We do still, well, we are loads of people on the beach right now. Many of them are not part of the, the protest. Many of them are just regular beachgoers. Um, the picnic, it looks like they're going to be they be kicking off with some of the prayers right now, but Nsinga will be speaking to us more about that. Nsinga? We can't stand that nonsense. We're getting different voices of people who have come out to um, this picnic and this protest this evening. Thanks so much for your time this evening. Talk to us about what you're experiencing as you're on Clifton Fort tonight. Uh, and Zinga, it's so sad that in so-called democracy of 24 years, we experience things that I've experienced today. We were sitting there, just chilling. I was looking at the direction where these officers were going around. Né? They skipped all white people here. They went to people who look like me, African people, and searched their bags. The question is, why didn't they go to white people and search bags and find what they wanted? The next thing, they took Uchuala with them. They did not take Uchuala to the office. I had to organize those young people to go to that office to tell them that this is Africa, this is not Europe. They must treat us equally. And this so-called private place ne, is not private. It's, it's our ancestors' land. These buildings that are here are illegal. We cannot have private spaces in our shores. That is unacceptable. And the government of today, that is the ANC, must deal with these people. Otherwise, whoa, let me tell you. Otherwise, we, Sanele, we had enough of this racism. We were born into apartheid. I know what apartheid is. I know what detention is. Our children must not suffer the same consequences that we went through. We had enough on this hurtful. You were searched today earlier on, on the Not beach. Me, the people who were uh, next to us, they skipped all the white people. They went to these African ladies and opened back Zabo and got Uchuala. Well, it's illegal. But the, the behavior of them, when this lady confronted them, she, he wanted to take a spray and spray her, him. Uh, we had to take those ladies to that office and confront those people and tell them, this is Africa, ne? this is not Netherlands. If they want to treat us like dead in our country, Dromedaras and Reicher and Khudawop is in Simonstown, they can jump and go wherever they come from. That is, they can just go to Simonstown, Dromedaras, Reicher and Khudawop is still there and go. We're not going to be treated like dead in Africa. This is Africa, this is our motherland. These are sons and daughters of this soil. These people are foreigners, these are invaders in this country. We're not going to tolerate shit in this country. Um, I, 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 we apologize for that language. Obviously, emotions are quite high here. Today is meant to be a day where people are coming together, regardless of their party affiliation. The ANC has said repeatedly that it's not an ANC event. It's people coming together. Are you sensing that as you sit with the different people, as you're waiting for prayers to come, there is a spirit of togetherness, even with the residents of Clifton? I, I'm not sure whether that is going to happen later. We'll just have to wait and see if they're going to be part of what is going on to show remorse. Because what we find out in after so-called democracy of 25 years, these people do not show any remorse. We understand, so we're not going to tolerate that now. Enough is enough. We, we, we'll see what is going to happen, but it's up to them to come and apologize of what has happened yesterday. It's up to them. We did nothing wrong. This is our land. If you want to bring a cow here and slaughter it here, we're not going to ask for permission from anyone. We are going to slaughter a cow, a goat, and whatever. Apa. Apa. is a lady. Never. OK, we'll take it back to studio now. It's time for a short break, but we'll continue bringing you the different voices that are coming out here at Clifton Fourth. For now, it's time for a short break. The full view will be back shortly. Yeah.